Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here with VideoCopilot.net, and today we're gonna be taking a look. Oh, I so wish I could say something really cool like that, you know, in the beginning of my tutorial, like Andrew Kramer does. But anyways, my name is Indrajit, and as a lot of you had requested, finally here's a tutorial on effective use of Fixer for live action footage. Instead of making a, a general tutorial on Twixter, I thought why not show the making of my first and second slow motion short films, which are going to be on your screens right now. Like, right now, kind of right now. Yeah, thank you. Click to see the links, just in case you haven't seen it, so that you have an idea what you're gonna see and what you're gonna make by the end of this tutorial series. Okay, so before we start, let me make two things very clear. A. English is not my native language, so in case you find me speaking in an accent that is that you think is funny, just keep it to yourself because it's really the truth I don't give a oh. Secondly, all what you will learn in this tutorial series is based on sort of my experience of working with Twixter. So chances are that I might be wrong at some places, so if I am, please do correct me. And I would highly suggest you to visit the Revision FX site. The guys who actually made Twixter, they themselves have some pretty cool tutorials that would definitely help you out. Also, before starting the tutorial, I would like to mention that this is not the regular kind of tutorial that you will see on YouTube. Um, like most of the COD Twixter videos that you see floating around on YouTube, this is not that. Where random guys, you know, sliding around random sliders on a random software and telling you to copy settings, and then when it doesn't work on your video, you're, you're like, you know. Oh my god, it is not working on my video, I did the same things like you did. Or maybe you're like, the angry kind of guy. This is so fake, dude. Fail. Fail, just... Fail, 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 fail. Flawless victory. You know, you need to learn all the things, all the aspects of it. Which is why this tutorial series is a bit longer than the normal ones. But it's gonna tell you each and everything that you need to know in order to have a clean slow motion video from Twixter. So let's get started. Oh yes, 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 before we start. One more thing, people do ask me in messages and people do ask me in comments that, uh, dude, I cannot watch your whole video and stuff can you just tell me the perfect settings to work with Twixter? <laughs> i would like to say as boro made quotes one does not simply have a perfect setting so you will have to watch the whole thing in order to have a perfect video so let's get started slow tip number one always watch reference videos that's how i started this video even before i got my t3i I watched a ton load of slow motion videos all done with Twixter. By constantly watching a lot of videos uh, which are done in Twixter, you can automatically start seeing as to what actually causes warping just by seeing it and you're not gonna do the same mistake those guys did. Slow tip number two. Get the people, yes, get a bunch of really bored people, this really ensures that they are willing to do anything to kill time. Maybe, you know, just get some dedicated prints that could work to kill Slow tip number three. Select the place. Now this is very important. Make sure you pick a place uh, that has high contrast colors, which helps your trickster, which actually helps the software to understand the motion in your film. See, basically what trickster does is it uh, adds new frames in between the frames of your video. It's called interpolation of frames and it blends those frames together and if it doesn't blend well it's called warping. So in order to do that the software needs to know what exactly is the motion of the pixels, where are the pixels moving in the frame and by having a high contrast ratio between your subject and your background or even inside your background like having a green colored wall and a blue colored wall I guess I don't know maybe that would help something like that basically 
So also, you should note that the people acting in the film should wear a t-shirt or a dress that has, again, a high contrast com- ratio compared to the background. Do not wear clothes. With intricate patterns. This is important, like a checkered t-shirt or some, you know, fine detailed pattern on your clothes. Don't wear that because that's gonna give a big headache to extra and you're definitely gonna get whopping so don't do that and uh, maybe uh, you can oh yes you, you should make sure that the location is very well lit because after I'm gonna tell you the camera settings you're gonna see that your screen the actual video is gonna get really dark so this is why it's more advisable to have extra lights in case you're shooting indoors or a shot being taken in the afternoon which is what I did in the afternoon.